Good morning! I've done a lot of work on the town since the last episode. I recolored a few of the houses that weren't sold yet. And we now have a little bar or diner, which I think looks really cool. I finally finished the town hall and it is now actually functional. And I've expanded the forest a little bit right up until the clinic that you can barely see from here. There it is in the distance. And at the edge of town, I've made our construction offices. Now, this thing has a bit of a story, but it's supposed to have built the entire town with money from the old neighborhood, actually, <laughs> from Simsville. And I've actually started doing the town square. Now, this is a big job and uh, <laughs> it's nowhere near done. And the ugly gazebo is still there, still have to finish or <laughs> still have to redo that one. Uh, but I like the view from down here. I think this is working out. You cannot see the statue right there, but there's a statue right in the middle. So I kind of like this. Uh, and I've started laying out the pathways. So. These parks are actually entryways to the center of the town square, where all the festivals will, uh, will be held. So uh, that's the start. <laughs> the only thing we still have to do before we can start moving in the eight male sims, the second eight uh, sims that, are, that we are going to move in, is we're going to have to finish this building right here. This is uh, going to be a clothing store. So when this one is done, we're going to start moving in the next eight sims.
all set and ready for our male sims. <laughs> now these two first ones are kind of special to me. They are Daniel and Jonathan. Uh, Delacour. I gave them a different name because their original name wasn't English. <laughs> and uh, they are the fourth generation sons of one of my original sims in the old neighborhood. Their father is the mayor of Simsville, as his aunt was before him. And this family is definitely one of my favorite families that I have spent the most time with over the years. Uh, my sims have definitely taken their fair share of Elixir of Life, that's for sure. <laughs> the thing is, I found out about the firstborn syndrome, and I did not know that was a thing until last year. I actually have been playing all those years and never noticed. And uh, believe it or not, even with these sims, I never noticed because they all had somewhat of a different personality in my head. Uh, but once I saw, I couldn't unsee. So I decided to extract them, extract their DNA, and then move them into this neighborhood. So I randomized their traits. I played with their DNA just a little bit to make them look a little bit different, but still somehow similar. So you can see that they're brothers. Uh, they're the third and fourth son of this uh, family. Um, so yeah, they look a little bit different than their original uh, <laughs> parts. And then I moved them into this neighborhood. For story-wise, they wanted to build a future apart from their famous father and older brothers who started a successful band. And they were known all around the area. They wanted a future of their own that was really theirs. And be individuals that they couldn't really be around their famous family. Uh, so they moved to Cherry Blossom Springs. And that's a bit far away from Simsville. And although it is founded with money from one of the richest Sims in Simsville, it is an independent town and they can make their own future here. So we'll see where that's going to lead them. For now they will take the money that they brought with them to uh, buy their house. And they rolled for a relatively high budget. Uh, Daniel rolled for 32,000 and Jonathan rolled for 38,000, which is uh, 70 in total. And I gave them that amount, which is coincidentally exactly the same amount as uh, Melissa and Jessica had, but that's really <laughs> a coincidence. Um, so Daniel is going to set up the local bar, which I've already built, and I showed you that in the neighborhood view. And uh, Jonathan is going to uh, pursue his true fashion in life. No, his true passion in life, which is fashion. <laughs> And uh, men, <laughs> because uh, in the final years of college he realized that he was gay. And now that he can finally be who he wants to be, he wants to live his life freely, uh, enjoy, have some fun, and see what or uh, who is out there. And of course they came from a rich family, so they would have had the opportunity to uh, save some money of their own. So it seems kind of realistic to me story-wise. Of course they're going to have to take out a big loan from the local banker, uh, because otherwise they can, cannot afford to buy uh, both of these shops. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to take out a loan of 90,000 simoleons. And it's going to be interesting to see how uh, they're going to pay that back and uh, pay interest. So uh, business-wise, that's going to be uh, interesting. They're going to have a hard time. But who knows? Maybe they'll make it. They have each other anyway. <laughs> so here you can make me uh, see... Uh, no, here you can see me make Daniel. And uh, of course I had to give him uh, the better eyebrows. There he is. Looking good. <laughs> now Daniel is a Leo and uh, he is of course a romance sim. I gave him the standard uh, traits and I had to give him a new uh, shirt. <laughs> this one just looks much much better. Of course, the rest of his clothes are also uh, chosen according to his favorite color, which is red. And I, again, didn't have enough <laughs> custom content to give him a, a formal wear in red. But the rest works out pretty nice, I think. And then, of course, there's Jonathan. 
his one year younger brother. Uh, had to give him the, uh, the better eyebrows too. He's got the second pair. He is a Taurus, so he's going to be a pleasure sim, but a shy pleasure sim, which is going to be interesting, I think. Um, his favorite color is white, so I chose all his uh, clothing accordingly. And yeah, this is uh, how he turned out. He likes red hair, mechanical sims, and he is not attracted to plant sims. So now that we have them all ready, I uh, think it is time to set them up for their first day in this new town. I'm going to give him a computer. And we're going to give them the loan. Here we go. Real estates. First is a community lot. I think we're going to take Daniel and bring him to his uh, new bar. I guess he can take Jonathan with him. They're going to look at the bar together. Why not? Let's go. Limpo. Oh, lingo to go. So, aside from the exterior, <laughs> which I think uh, turned out pretty cool, uh, I've kept the bar pretty basic. The idea is that they can uh, expand it in the future. Uh, maybe even make a restaurant or something, but for now it's just a, a bar with just a cozy little sitting area and a small office for Daniel. The kitchen is, uh, is not complete, there is no stove yet because they will not be uh, serving food at the moment. Like I said, maybe later on. Uh, so this is it for now. This is going to be the place where Daniel is going to... Uh, spend his time, hopefully earn his money, and uh, yeah. Oh, that's right, I uh, set a few relationships in uh, SimPE because these sims, they all have a history hmm. and I'm not yeah. going to get into that right now, but I will uh, explain everything on the first round that we'll, uh, we'll play them. <laughs> but they definitely all have a history. Him and uh, Jonathan both. Yeah, and he met uh, Carol <laughs> outside. <laughs> so this is the bar, basically. Simple, cozy, like a real local gathering place, I guess. <laughs> so let's take them back home. And Jonathan can buy and visit his clothing store. Also interesting, his hobby is, uh, you can't see that right here, but let's make him play a game. I don't like that. <laughs> he had a wand for it, so it's alright. <laughs> so his hobby is games. And his sub-hobby actually rolled for poker, which is funny because he and Jessica, they, they have a bit of a history and she, of course, she opened the gambling den, so he will probably spend a lot of time uh, at her place. But it's, uh, I thought that was funny. <laughs> there we go, his hobby is gaming. And Daniel, he actually rolled uh, for uh, arts and crafts with a sub-hobby, pottery. Now, I'm not sure how that's going to fit his character, <laughs> but it's definitely uh, a unique twist, so that's kind of funny. So, let's go check out the clothing store. And of course, being the close brothers that they are, they can uh, go and check it out together. 
I'm sure Daniel is curious about uh, the clothing store that his brother bought. <laughs> So uh, this is the dress and go. So please leave a comment if you uh, if you get the reference. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Here's Daniel, the town Don Juan probably. <laughs> uh, you've already seen me build this place, so I'm not going to go into detail. But uh, I think it's functional and uh, pretty stylish actually. So. Uh, it should be fun running this place. Of course I'm going to have to work out the opening schedule. Well, here's the mayor. You could say hello to the mayor. Yes. She actually likes that now. <laughs> Come on, Jensen. Go and greet the mayor. Don't be shy. He wants to make a friend, so I think that's okay. A friend. Outside of his family. Kashmoa, the Badisha, Tikwe, Tikwe, Atakano, and maybe the Moda Shifo. Of course, the mayor isn't that nice. Adriana is kind of grumpy. Um, and they'll meet everyone else in the town at the meet and greet uh, Monday night. So that's going to be okay. Oh, I think I forgot to. I forgot to ban the NPCs. We have to do that. I have done that on every lot. Not visible, but I have done that. So we're going to ban all NPCs and ban all critters. There, because I can't stand the witches interrupting uh, <laughs> a day on a community lot. <laughs> so this is better. Uh, yeah, I think they're done. Before they're gonna get into a fight, <laughs> let's send them home. Huh? <laughs> I thought you liked Daniel. What are you doing? <laughs> yes, let's go. It's almost evening anyway, so uh, time to go take care of their needs and uh, get them ready for the meet and greet. Now I did give both of them some, uh, some skills and I figured Daniel is not going to serve uh, food at his uh, bar yet, but he could make hot dogs and maybe serve them or sell them uh, in a different way. I have to figure out uh, his, his earnings how, and how to do that uh, before we start the first day. <laughs> yeah, let's let's take a look. So we we did check their uh, their relationship. Of course, Daniel has bonds with almost every woman in town. <laughs> um, of course, he doesn't have a job. He is a uh, Leo and very outgoing, but a little bit grouchy too. And uh, his interests are mainly crime and food, which is funny, I think, <laughs> given his uh, occupation. Um, yeah, so his hobbies are some cra sub hobby pottery, we already talked about that. And his attractions are black hair, mechanical skill, and his turn off is vampirism. So I'm actually kind of interested who he's going to have uh, maybe three bolts with. So yeah, and I do want to give him some of the bonuses. Let's see. Social. Let's give him all of these. I don't want to give him this because he's probably going to sleep with the entire town anyway <laughs> since he is a romance sim. So instead I'm just going to spend his point here even though he doesn't have a job. And Jonathan um, I'm going to do this. Fast metabolism, okay. and I want him to be able to write a restaurant guide because I think it's uh, going to be an interest dynam interesting dynamic if 
Uh, he is the pleasure sim, and he could write restaurant guides while his brother actually has a restaurant or a bar. So I think that would be interesting. And he could um, he could maybe make some dinner. Let's let's let him make some spaghetti. So uh, once Daniel is done with uh, the last of his hot dogs. We're going to uh, let them have dinner together and maybe take care of their needs. And uh, that's it for the first day. They are settled in their new house in their uh, their new town. And uh, let's see what life is going to be like for these two brothers. <laughs> oh my god, he just set the girl on fire. That's awesome. <laughs> Of course, we haven't moved in a fireman yet. <laughs> there is no fireman in Cherry Blossom Springs right now. So let's hope that they uh, will be able to fix this on their own. <laughs> oh, this is not a promising start. <laughs> Our first night. Not a promising start. There. They did fix it. Yeah, do you remember college when everything was easy? <laughs> We're not there anymore. <laughs> oh, and I just saw that they have to do some renovating because some books seem to be missing. There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> Ready to move in the next family. So the next sim we are going to move in is Kristoff. And Kristoff is actually also kind of a special one. Uh, his last name is, and I'm not even sure how I'm, how I'm going to pronounce this, but it's something like Daggeroth. And of course it's not, uh, it's not English and uh, it means something like, it's a, it's a wordplay on the words uh, that means um, like dawn or daybreak. And I thought it was funny, so I kept it. So, Kristoff is the last uh, of my sims that I extracted DNA from the old neighborhood. And look at him. Isn't he cute? <laughs> That's actually how he looked uh, back there. And uh, I kept him exactly the same. The thing is, he was... He is the son of Mr. Big, which is one of the uh, nightlife NPCs. And a really handsome and rich one. <laughs> And his mother is actually one of my favorite sims of all time. She is one of the original families, third generation. And at first she was, um, she became a celebrity chef. She was very successful, made a lot of money. And she was one of the cutest sims in the neighborhood. And since I always controlled, I'm not going to do that in Cherry Blossom Springs, but in my old neighborhood in Simsville, I used to control all of the marriages. Like even before the children were born, I would know who they were gonna marry in the future. Sometimes I would uh, leave it up to chance, but most of the time I had pretty much of an idea who they were gonna end up with. And with her, her name is Nina, I didn't know. She was just, it was like no other sim was good enough for her. <laughs> so um, yeah, she married one of the, I think it was the free time NPCs, uh, or the free time uh, townies. Mm -hmm. He was a dancer and they had a pretty happy marriage for for, for, <clears throat> for some time. They had two children, but uh, it didn't work out. He was still an unsuccessful dancer. She, uh, by that time, started on her second career to fulfill her second lifetime wish in uh, the oh. show business. <laughs> and she was climbing the ladder pretty fast and he just couldn't handle it. And they kept on fighting and fighting and fighting. So they uh, divorced. She, uh, she moved out and uh, then she met Mr. Big. And of course he was charming and uh, rich, which well, she was attracted to. <laughs> and uh, they got married. And then they had Kristoff. And after Kristoff, they had Isabel. 
And now I'm not sure if I'm going to move Isabel into this neighborhood. She might just stay in Simsville, but I'm not sure yet because uh, she is uh, still a teenager. So uh, her story hasn't played out yet. I think Christoph is gonna have the same problem in my head anyway as his mother. He's just too cute to know which sim is good enough for him. So. I moved him to this neighborhood so he can make it up for himself. He can choose his own partner in life. Actually, he is uh, he ruled to be bisexual and romancing. So he might not actually end up with anyone, but I'm really curious to see how his story is going to play out. <laughs> so let's take a look uh, at uh, his clothing. His favorite color is blue, as you can see by his, uh, his suit. And he is very stylish. Uh, so we're going to pick out some elegant clothing for him. Of course, we're going to have to do something about his eyebrows, which are the original ones from the old DNA. So let's take the second one, replace them with the second one. There we go. There's Kristoff. You can see the like the cheek line or the nose from my original family still in there, which I think is so funny because he is fourth generation. And you can still see the DNA and uh, the facial ex facial features from uh, the first generation. I think that's really cool in the Sims too. So, there he is. So, as his uh, formal wear, I gave him the exact same outfit as his uh, everyday outfit. Because for him, there's not really a difference. <laughs> he likes to look formal uh, <coughs> all the time. So... Um, his undies, his pajamas, all in blue, and then his uh, swimwear. And his hobby is actually a fitness and sub-hobby swimming. So he might be, you might be seeing a lot of him this way. His uh, athletic outfit, uh, also a little bit more clothed and uh, stylish, I think. I like, I really like this one. It's a base game uh, suit, but I really like it. And outerwear. Now I do have to get some more uh, custom content for men's outerwear because I only have like a page and a half and half of them aren't working mm, so I did something baby. wrong there. But uh, mm. yeah, that's that's Benefit. not nearly enough. So uh, I gave him yeah. a basic uh, Max's outfit. One of the ones that I, I think is actually kind of cute. So there's Kristoff. And <clears throat> we talked about this. He is a romance sim and I have not ro rolled for any extremes in his personality traits so I'm gonna have to check the, the, the old neighborhood to see what his personality was because I do want to keep that kind of similar to what he had and his, so we'll do that in simpe later on and his attractions are brown hair let's see brown hair cooking so he likes a sim who can cook and his dislikes are werewolves. There we go. We have Kristoff. <laughs> so cool to see him here. <laughs> Let's move him in. Alright, he uh, rolled for a relatively low budget. is 22,000. That is all the spending money that his parents uh, gave him. <coughs> but they did set up something else. They gave him an uh, opportunity ma to make money in this town. And I'm going to tell you all about it after we move him in. So he's going to move into the house that I designed uh, especially for him. And it's a, it's a Honeywell house too. I recolored it a little bit and I did the basic decorating with the basic wooden furniture and stuff. And uh, that's pretty much all that he's going to get to make a start uh, in this town. <laughs> we have to do one more thing, which is give him a degree. And so we're gonna take the bad box, pre-uni, and he studied uh, philosophy. There we go. So he now has a degree and he rolled to be bi. <laughs> Which is funny because I already rolled for that in my Excel sheet <laughs> using random.org. 
and uh, so he's, he's double by. That's uh, <laughs> that's funny. I am going to go to spawn the adjuster and let's see, change model to uh, Farkit and gender prep Kristoff make buy, which makes him uh, like higher on the buy points. So. Uh, he's not going to switch that that fast. I'll show you. Right. He had a two for male and a two for um, females, and right now he has 500, 500. So that makes him not going gonna wanna uh, switch to either one anytime soon. So uh, let's sell that box, and Kristoff is all ready to go. Now hmm. I do want to show you his. Hobby. Uh, okay, jump rope. That was one of the NPCs trying to spawn. <laughs> um, jump rope. Because his his hobby is actually uh, fitness. So this should. There we go. Now he's gonna do that for a little bit, and I'm going to uh, to adjust his skill points. And a few other things in SimP, and I will be right back after that. There. So, he has a history with Natasha. They had kind of a romance thing when they were teenagers. So it's going to, uh, going to be interesting to see if they will find each other again. Uh, so I give them some relationship points in, uh, in SimP. Uh, other than her, he doesn't know anyone in this town yet. And he is the head of a construction company. Uh, now, this is something that his parents arranged for him. They gave him the opportunity to uh, get the contracts for building this town, for constructing this town. So, he earned his money with building all the houses. We've got six low budget houses, six medium budget houses, and seven higher budget houses. And uh, the story is that he all built them and uh, of course with the opportunity that his parents uh, gave him <laughs> to to do this to start this right out of college without any experience so his dad's connections played a huge role in that and um, that's how he made his money so after expenses and um, the, the the profit that he made is uh, 40,000 simoleons so we're going to add that to his funds And of course, one of those expense expenses was building the um, the construction office. Now we're not doing this in the right order, but it is going to be uh, fine economics-wise. Yes, and we want to buy the construction offices. There it is. So he's supposed to have built this before he constructed the house. So he already had this, but we had to buy it for now. I don't want to clean it up. I want to put it in the fridge. Oh, okay. Well, let's just place it in his inventory then. Can I do that? Yes, he'll take it with him. <laughs> Uh, that, that's custom content, so that's... Oh no, he doesn't have a fridge. Let's, uh, let's get going. We're gonna go and visit the, uh, the community lot. Now, I forgot about one little detail, and that is that he did not end up with uh, a profit of 40,000, but a profit of 240,000. Uh, but of course, for 200,000, 200, he bought the, uh, or he built the six businesses in town. So the ones that are already sold are Sweet Delights, the bakery, to Natasha, and Dress and Go. And I guess this is Jonathan uh, coming over to uh, to pay him. So let's greet him, and we'll add him. Why do you? Of course, he's gonna have to greet the mayor too. <laughs> Jonathan oh. seems to like Crystal. <laughs> Uh, let's let's meet the mayor too. And um, if Natasha comes over, we're going to uh, 
Natasha can pay my back. <laughs> so I don't want the Sims to meet uh, to meet each other before the meet and greet. That's that's the thing. We'll we'll play uh, completely random when we start our first rounds. But for now, <laughs> I don't want them all to meet before the meet and greet. So that's why. So uh, yeah, we're going to add to the family funds the uh, forty thousand family funds. Oh, 60,000 because 30,000 for the sweet delight to bakery and 30,000 that Jonathan paid for the dressing go. It's 60,000 and I think it's supposed to. No, it's not gonna end up here, but I wanted to show in the, uh, the cash flow of the, of the company, but we're gonna need a different computer for that because this one is not one of Monique's hacked computers so we'll have to change that and maybe put this one back later but he's gonna need a laptop anyway so there we go the cheapest one let's see bank online he's probably gonna have to deposit at home and then take it out again here so Just say goodbye to the mayor. She's she's taken up enough of your time. <laughs> oh come on! You can figure out the stairs. There she is. <laughs> oh, I forgot how annoying this can be. <laughs> you're going downstairs again and upstairs there she is finally we, yeah wave at her wave at her it's been a long time <laughs> no, please say goodbye oh, she's already leaving yeah <laughs> she probably got bored anyway i would really like to figure out the, the finances because i uh, i wanted to show in the cash flow i might do a little bit of that offline but for now uh, i guess i guess this is all right uh, he's gonna spend his day here. Uh, the business is going to be closed, but I do want he, he wants to earn a skill point, so we're gonna let him study a bit of mechanical. Um, a life of luxury, of course. Um, business instinct, that's okay for now, I guess. I don't want him to get a promotion. Let's see, study mechanical now about his uh, skills so i gave him a basic cooking skill and at, in the old neighborhood he had uh, he had a maxed out charisma skill so i gave him eight points in that because he's very charismatic and i think that that kind of fits his personality so uh i'll, I'll let him keep that <laughs> he does not have a body skill but he's going to train and swim because that's his new hobby and he did get a few logic and creativity points from uh, college. He studied philosophy. Of course, he has no mechanical and cleaning skill because at home they always hired people for that. <laughs> he came from a rich family, so he never had to do any of that himself. And now that he's here, he wants to learn. He wants to be successful at his job and he wants to reach higher achievements than, uh, than he did for now. So. The funny thing about this building is, um, I've built it, but it's not decorated yet, and it's completely empty, so it's supposed to be like this really newly built building. And um, from the top floor, that's where the offices are going, are going to be. And of course he's going to, going to hire an architect and, and some staff, and this is going to be a thriving business, I think, in the future. At least he has the money to invest in it, so that's going to be uh, a good start. But from the top floor, you can actually see almost the entire town. <laughs> Which I think is funny, because um, it gives him a view on the, on the buildings that he has actually built. So those are a lot of the houses. We've got the farmhouse, and this is uh, the Stefanov sisters' house. So that's going to be... Uh, I think that was a few touch. <laughs> And this uh, container thing 
like this this little shack that they usually uh, put or put up uh, around the building site. I tried to replicate that, but <laughs> again, I'm not a really good builder, so <laughs> you'll have to excuse my uh, my building skills. <laughs> Uh, but the interior, I think they're not really cute because this is actually his office for now and this is where he did all his work uh, for the first buildings that he made. This is where his uh, journey started. So let's see where it's uh, going to take him. It's six o'clock. He wants to talk to Jonathan again. This might actually be uh, like a romance potential. He has one bolt with him, which isn't a lot, but it's something. Of course, I locked in the one to, uh, to woohoo. Yeah, that's basically it for now. I think we are going to send him home. Let's take the laptop with him and put this one back here. He can switch it around later if he needs to. And uh, I'll figure out the finances later. Let's go home. Let's go home. Let's take care of his needs and get him ready for the meet and greet, which is again tonight where he'll meet the rest of the town and all the sims that are yet to move in. So uh, we can uh, move on to uh, the next sim, which is the doctor. He's going to run the clinic in town. So just to show you that we did it, I went back home and uh, I deposited the money on the bank account, then went back here and withdrew it again. So now it actually shows the right amount that he's supposed to have made today. And then we're going to say goodbye to everyone here and uh, go back home because this day actually had already ended <laughs> I just wanted to show you this <laughs> now Radford is the name of our doctor and I'm kind of hoping that this uh, this name will last for a few generations because I kind of like it his name is Vernon. Please leave a note in the comments if you uh, recognize any of these names and get the reference. Now this is the sim that we have uh, <laughs> created <laughs> with the gen random generator. And we're gonna have to do some work on it because he looks alright, but his head, I think his face is too low on his head. And it's, of course it makes for a, a unique sim, which I uh, wanted, but... I do not want in later generations to uh, to make kind of a freaky sims and the face that is too low on the skull is uh, is going to probably uh, <laughs> cause problems. So what I want to do is I want to heighten, here it is, I want to heighten his face just a little bit. He can have like a big forehead, but he still does have a big forehead like this, but his face is actually on his, his skull and not underneath it, so <laughs> I think this looks a little bit better. The rest of him is, is alright, so this is Vernon. Let's adjust his eyebrows. Uh, round one, there we go, his eyebrows, because I didn't have these custom ones yet when I made him in December. He's been in the bin for quite a bit. <laughs> Let's do his personality first. These are his, uh, his daily, his everyday uh, clothing his everyday clothes. Um, he is a Capricorn and a uh, fortune sim. Now I do like to give my sims somewhat of a extreme mm. personality and I think uh, uh, it would be fun if he was like completely shy, very neat, a little lazy, uh, but let's make him a bit more nice because he is the oh. doctor. And uh, I wanted to have a little bit of a caring personality once you get to know him and once he gets out of bed because he's lazy. <laughs> so uh, this is Vernon, Vernon Bradford. <laughs> if you get the reference, you know what inspired me to build this town. And it's, it's not one thing, it's multiple things, but uh, <laughs> who knows, maybe someone out there will get it. I'm just going to put this, uh, this personality in my Spreadsheet 10 0 1 uh, 7 7. There we go. And from now on, we'll only have uh, like random generated sims. Only the first seven were extracted DNA from the, uh, from the old neighborhood, from Simsville. So we'll have 24 sims, 7 extracted from Simsville, and 17 randomly generated. Uh, right, his personality, he has uh, fortune sim. He's a fortune sim. He wants to make lots of money. Kind of fitting for a doctor, but I didn't make that up. 
he actually rolled for it, so I, I did because I did everything random when I made him <laughs> and put him into my spreadsheet. <laughs> now he's attracted to blondes who uh, have, who are insightful, who have logical skills. There we go, logic skills, blonde logical skills, and he is turned off by zombies. Like who wouldn't, right? <laughs> There we go, zombies. So that's it. Now the only thing we have to do now is pick out his clothing that's gonna fit his personality. And let's do that right now. His favorite color is orange, by the way. Uh, oh, I do like this suit on him. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to change that. But the rest will make orange, I promise. Now this is the only remotely orange thing that I have. <laughs> let's give him this. And maybe we'll go maybe we'll go shopping for custom content later. <laughs> There's his pajamas. His swimming outfit. And, and his athletic outfit. I kinda like this one. He is he rolled to be uh, 33, so he's a little bit older than the other Sims, but not that old. So I think this fits. His hobby, what's his hobby? His hobby is music. Oh he plays the drums. <laughs> That's cute. He is a drum playing doctor. And I think this is the only thing with orange in it, so we'll take this one. That's Vernon. We finished. Now, I do like that about the random generation of, uh, of Sims, because in my old neighborhood I would have chosen a hobby for him, like uh, science probably, because he's a doctor. And <laughs> with the random approach, I think it's really, really cool. And you get w much more of a, a unique blend of Sims. I think it's really cool. <laughs> And I can't wait to start playing this town. We're almost there. We're halfway, I think. This is uh, sim number 12 in this uh, in this new town. So 12 more to go. 12 more random sims. Let's uh, get him moved in. Now, Vernon rolled for a budget of... Let's see, whatever. Of 28,000. Uh, that's not enough to, uh, to buy his house. It's the house at the edge of town, behind the forest. And it costs 37,000. So he is going to take out a loan and I'm going to put that in the spreadsheet. So it's not a cheat, uh, <laughs> it's an actual loan and he has to pay it back and he has to pay interest on that too if he's not fast enough with paying it back. So uh, the economic system is actually something that I'm really uh, interested in playing and I think it's going to be really fun. So he's going to take out a loan of 10,000 simoleons. Which leaves him at 38, and he will be able to buy the house that we built for him. There, Vernon is all set up and uh, ready to start. Now we have to do one more thing. I gave him the specialist, uh, so the medical career as a specialist. He lacks a lot of the skills that he really needs for that, so that's alright. I gave him a few basic skills and he will get the rest, maybe on the way, maybe not. He's the town doctor. Uh, I guess he just rolled to be bi, but that's not right. He is actually straight, so we're gonna have to fix that. One more thing we need to do is we're gonna have to upgrade pre-uni and I want to give him the biology. it. And his lifetime wish is to become a world-class ballet dancer. And there's his car to go to work. He, he can go to work. I guess that's alright in his first day. He is going to open uh, a town clinic and he's going to work here. But it makes sense that he, he would also have to visit the hospital like in the in a neighboring town or something. I guess that, that, makes, that makes sense. Uh, we're gonna sell that box and wait for him to come home. There he is. He just had his first day. <laughs> cool. So he can just do whatever he wants to do for the rest of the day. I'm not gonna really uh, play him. Um, he is however going to set up... Uh, where's the phone? There it is. Can he reach the phone? Uh, business... 
no, business, start a home business. And let's get him out of that, uh, that doctor's coat. <coughs> so his favorite color is orange, and I tried to incorporate that in the interior design of his house. <laughs> of course, he still has the basic furniture. Um, when he uh, earns the first of his money, a little bit more, um, he's going to hire an interior decorator and we're going to fix all that. Uh, business is going to be closed for now. The way I'm going to play this, whenever a sim would like turn into a vampire or a plant sim, or why did they just enter his house? I didn't invite them. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> What is happening? Send them away, please. Send them all away. Say goodbye. You're way too shy to have all these people in your home on the first day. Without them even... Oh, this is going to be traumatizing for him. <laughs> they just walked in. Well, just send them away. This, this is going to be traumatizing for him. All these sims in his home without him even inviting them. He's way too shy for that. <laughs> yes, bye bye. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I locked in his wants. He wants to gain a cleaning skill point. He wants to make a friend. He, of course, is uh, laying on a couch right now because he is lazy, very lazy, and shy. Because I wanted to give him some extreme personality, and I think that's going to be fun to play. Right, I was saying uh, whenever I do want to invite Sims, or whenever I want to play this clinic. Let's say a sim would turn into a plant sim. I could teleport them here. They would have come to his clinic for, for cure. And uh, and again, they just barge in here. I guess he really needs a doctor. But now that he's here, <laughs> I guess he wants a checkup. So let's uh, test the setup that I made. I thought it would be fun if it looked like he would, the patient would like sit here, and um, he would he would check them. So oh, it's it's really funny that he sat there by himself. <laughs> so he's going to do a checkup. He wants to make some lifestyle changes. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> so we just did a checkup. Um, this is basically how I'm going to play this. I'm going to invite us in here. They're going to sit on the table. He's going to check them. I'm not sure how. Maybe just chat to them. And then they leave. And I'm going to put that in the spreadsheet. And once I return to Kristoff's uh, household, I will send some money in Bernan's way. So that's, that's basically how I'm going to uh, to do this uh, clinic. Say goodbye to Kristoff. And the other thing, how he's going to make money, is whenever there's a birth in town, the, the, yeah, a birth in, in town, he's going to help deliver the baby. So we're going to teleport Vernon over whenever there's a woman in labor. That's how he's going to make some extra money. So money-wise, he's probably going to be one of the richest sims in town. And I guess that's all right, because he is the doctor and he wants to start a family. So there's going to be the family Radford living in this, uh, this beautiful home. At least once it's decorated. It's just a dump right now. <laughs> but that's, that's just his style. That's his style. It'll, uh, it'll get better. And we'll hire an interior decorator once uh, she moved in uh, to this town. So, yeah, I guess that's it for now. What do we charge for a checkup? Let me know in the comments. What do you think is reasonable? This is the basic checkup without any curement or advice. Now he's gonna sit on the table. You're not you're not the patient, you're the doctor. You're supposed to sit in this chair. <laughs> so uh, yeah, what do you think? Like 50? 100? I'm going with 50 now. We can always make it 100, but we're, we're going with 50 now. And family funds. What's his name? Radford. Radford plus 50. I think that's alright. Now, uh, whenever we get to Kristoff, we'll make sure that he is going to pay or donate 50 uh, simoleons. So, he is supposed to have paid it to, uh, to Verna. And that's it for today. I think that's the first day of, uh, of Verna in this house. A little bit traumatizing. But all the sims barging in. But hey, he'll find his way. He'll find his way in this town. 
he knows he has a place somewhere. <laughs> so, on to the next one. We have four more to go in this episode. All nails. And this is going to be the farmer. Now, I'm completely open to suggestions, so leave them in the, in the comments if you have one, because I'm not sure about his last name. I chose George because I use the, like a name generator thing, and all of the last names have at least something to do with either their um, personality or their job in the town. So this is the farmer. But I'm not sure if I really like the last name George, and he is a family sim, so his name is probably going to be a big one in this town. So I'm open to suggestions. If you if you have a nice one, let me know. Let me know. I uh, I might change it before he gets married. <laughs> yeah, like I said, he is a family sim, so let's start with his personality. Uh, he is a Pisces. This one. <laughs> And I think I'm going to make him just a little bit more... No, I'm going to keep him just as he is. Like, perfectly balanced Pashis, I think. <laughs> uh, family Sim and his attractions. Let's see, he rolled for red, the red hair. And cleaning skill. There we go. And his turn-offs are a plant sim. There we go. Funny thing, he actually rolled to be 19. So this guy is really, really young. And he has his entire future before him. But that also means that he cannot have a degree. Because at his, at, at his age, he could never have gone to college. So he's 19 without a degree. And he is going to run far. His eyebrows. Now let's get into his clothing. His favorite color is basically the combination of red and blue. And I chose this overalls because because I think it's fitting for a farmer. But he has like these uh, paint splatters on it. So it's not really supposed to be a farmer's overall. But I like it. So we're gonna keep it for now. And we're all finished. <laughs> I saw a few uh, everyday outfits that I really like. So we might go shopping for him later. Especially when he's earned his first money. And he can uh, he can afford to look a little bit more decent. But he's going to have a hard time earning money. So at first anyway. Uh, so let, let's, let's check it out. His formal wear. A bit raggedy. But uh, fitting I think. Uh, he's got the blue vest and the red jacket. So I think it looks good on him. Then his uh, undies, his pajamas, and I was surprised that I could actually find the combination of red and blue for almost every outfit. Uh, this looks kind of farmer style with the... I'm not sure what this is called in English. Like the... nope. Blank. <laughs> so yeah, his swimwear also red and kind of bluish. I know it's purple, but close enough, right? Uh, wait, does this have like a... No, nope, I thought it had a red edge, but it doesn't. Okay, so red and purple it is. His athletic outfit. And then his outerwear, which again, I do not have. So he's going to wear this for now, and maybe we'll go uh, shopping for it later. Oh, right, his uh, hobby is... I'm not sure why that's relevant right now, but <laughs> his hobby is science. And the sub-hobby he rolled for uh, weather and block. So he likes to follow the weather, I guess. And then blog about it. Th that's fun. I'm not sure if it's going to earn him any money. But we'll see. He probably won't have time for it anyway. Next to all the farming that he has to do. <laughs> So yeah, he's 19 years old, he is straight, he rolled to be straight, and he has a budget of, right, really, really low, and it's fitting for his age, but also he just rolled for it, so, uh, George, he has 15,000 simoleons, and now that is not going to get him anywhere in this town, um, 
actually is it? No, except for moving in with other people, he, he wouldn't be able to afford his own home. So this is the town farm. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, close to the Stefanov sisters actually, and the rest of the houses are for the next sims to move in, the last eight. Um, this is the farm. It's also a Honeywell home. I recolored it and I kind of like the colors for, for this one, especially uh, seeing that it's a farm because it was actually more of an elegant, luxurious looking uh, home. And with these colors it looks more like a, like a farm to me anyway. So. He is going to take out a loan of 20,000 simoleons and finds George plus 20,000 and I have put that in the spreadsheet I think, let's check, make sure, yes because of course he's going to pay interest on that and he's going to have to pay it back so it's not a gift or anything, it's not a cheat, he is going to pay interest and payments to the, to the banker. There we are. <laughs> so here we have uh, Roland in his new home, and I picked out some of the basic decorations in the in his favorite colors. Um, I gave him some basic skills, only one point for cooking and one point for body because he is 19. But maybe he worked out when he was younger. <laughs> He's definitely kind of working out right now. Um, <laughs> the um, toilet and the shower are actually in the shed and I thought that was a kind of cute detail so we're gonna keep it that way. Uh, he just rolled to be gay which uh, is not right. He rolled in my random um, approach, he rolled that's straight. Uh, straight there. There we go. And of course, I didn't really think this through because he is not gonna have enough money to uh, to plant seeds, and he's going to have to invest in that right now in order for him to make his first money when uh, when the end of fall or the beginning of winter comes. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm going to give him another loan of 5,000 simoleons and we're going to make a little garden because this is going to be his job it's not just like for fun or something it's it's going to be his job <laughs> um, and he's going to have to work like really hard for his first harvest and make profit. So I think this is good for now. Then we'll do another row. This, yes, we'll do another row. And he's going to spend the first day in this town doing nothing <laughs> but planting seeds uh, yeah he can fertilize that's all right so of course when Sunday comes he's going to have to pay uh, interest and taxes so it's Sunday is going to be not on the first rotation but on the second rotation so at the end of fall which is uh, in six days. That's the last day of the season and they will have all the festival. I think the tomatoes may be done by then, but I am not entirely sure. Um, and if they're not done, there he's gonna have to wait. Anyway, uh, so the second rotation is going to be winter and in the in the winter season is going to be the first Sunday and my sims in this town will pay taxes on Sunday. So that's the first day that he's going to have to uh, pay something to the town. And also I want them today to make their interest payments on Sunday. So they can do all their <laughs> finance stuff on, the, on their Sundays. So yeah, this is how he's going to spend his day. 
And after this, he's gonna be all set up for uh, for his first rotation. We exhausted him. <laughs> it's time. He skipped lunch, he skipped breakfast, so he's going to take a shower right now. And after that, let's make some uh, dinner. He, uh, he can eat something and uh, finish planting this row of seeds uh, tonight. So it will be it will be finished in the morning. Of course, we forgot to do one thing. He's going to start a home business. All right, on to the next sim on the list, which is Rick Valentine. <laughs> Rick is going to be the local gardener. And let's take a look at him. There he is. <laughs> I'm not sure about his outfit, but I think it's all right for now. So he's going to wear this. 
Um, and his favorite color is yellow. Actually, is that shirt yellow? I guess it is a little bit. So Rick is a Leo. Uh, this very outgoing, and the rest is actually kind of balanced. He's a bit grouchy. Let's see if I can Flip make him a bit more yeah. lazy, a bit more nice. Mm. Or yeah, I think that's all right. Let's put that in the spreadsheet for ten, two, four, five. There we go. Rick is twenty-seven. Let's check his eyebrows. They look maxes. They are okay. So he's got there number two. He's got brown eyes, and we're gonna. Pick out his clothing. Ooh, this shirt would be mm. nice on him. Be really that. He might go shopping at Jonathan's at the dress and go later on. He's gonna wear this for now because it's summer. He might he might wear this in the fall. Mm. Well, he might. Well, <laughs> well, yellow isn't really the easiest color, <laughs> but I think we managed. I found a fitting outfit for every occasion. We've got his formal wear. Very classy, I think, with the yellow tie. And I think it's a yellow boxer. Uh, I'm not too happy about the English language on it, but I guess it's alright. The boxer is cute. Um, his PJs, pyjamas. Surprised to find an actual yellow pants in there. So uh, His swimwear. his workout uh, outfit. He looks cool in this, I think. And we actually had yellow outerwear, so that's Rick Valentine for you. <laughs> he is 27 year old and he is a romance here. Did I said that already? No, I did not. So he's a Leo, a romance sim, 27 years old, and he rolled to be bisexual. His turn-ons. They are blonde hair. Uh, there it is. And body skill. Yes. And his turn-offs is a plaid sim. There we go. Now he's ready. All ready to move in. <laughs> Except that he is not going to move in uh, to one of the houses because he rolled for a budget of 15,000 simoleons, which is clearly not enough to buy a home. Uh, let me just adjust his funds. 15. There we go. So what I'm going to do is there are a few more sims that don't have a budget to buy, buy a house and I am going to build a bed and breakfast. Uh, I have not started it yet but this is, I think this is the location where I want it to be. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see me build that one or uh, if you're interested in any other kind of builds. Um, I'm going to make a family that is going to run the bed and breakfast and then we have I think four sims whose budget is too low to actually buy a house so they are going to rent a room at the bed and breakfast just until they get enough money to uh, to buy something or maybe get married so that's uh, that's the idea so let's move on to the next sim and he is going to buy a house his name is Everson. Stanley Everson. And Stanley is going to be the local uh, repairman slash uh, exterminator. I wanted him to do both. And I think he turned out really cool in, uh, in Body Shop. I think it looks cool. Uh, let's adjust his eyebrows. Because he is actually one of the first sims that I made. 
And I did not have the eyebrows back then. I didn't even have the skin uh, def default replacements yet back then. But we do now, so we want them to look a little bit more modern. And he is also wearing one of the coolest outfits, I think. He is a... let me check... Family Sim. Yes, that's right. And a Pisces as well. We had one more Pisces before. I think I want him to be a little bit more serious. No, he yeah, is serious, shy, a little bit lazy. Let's keep it at a five, I think. Yeah, and the rest of the points go into nice. I want him to be like really nice. And, um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see who he's going to end up with. He is straight, by the way, so he is probably going to end up with one of the female sims. That that much we know. <laughs> and his turn-ons and turn-offs are right. Gray hair. I didn't even know I used that as a possibility, but <laughs> he rolled for gray hair as an attraction. That's funny. And body skill an athletic sim and his turn offs are zombies there we go now it's time to pick out his clothing and i think we're done now his favorite color is black i don't think i mentioned that so i uh, black is actually an easier color so this is his formal wear his undies and I'm still hesitating between this one mm. and the other one yeah we'll take this one for now <laughs> his pyjamas swimwear the only thing that's not really black but it's close enough and his athletic outfit yeah. He will probably not be doing too much exercising because I just rolled for his hobby. His hobby is sports, and uh, he rolled for the sub hobby to watch sports. <laughs> so he will probably sit on the couch and uh, and, and watch a game. <laughs> his outerwear, simple but classic, because I don't have anything else. <laughs> and yes, his personality, family sim. So let's move him in. Now Stanley is 23 years old. So he's a bit young. He probably will not get a degree. He uh, is straight actually. And he rolled for a budget of 14,000 summons. How many funds are some 14,000? There we go. Now he is going to move into one of the houses but of course he is going to take out a loan for that and with that loan he is not only going to buy a house but he is also going to uh, start a shop at his home and he is going to sell appliances so he's going to be the repairman that sims can call whenever there's something broken uh, whenever one of their appliances are broken and they can call him whenever they need an exterminator and they will pay him for that and in addition he will sell appliances so i think he may soon be able to expand and actually buy a shop in the in the town square but let's see if that actually works out i think the, the way i think it will <laughs> uh yeah right we're gonna give him his loan and he's going to take a loan of let me check my sheet um, Yes, 10,000. And we plus 10,000. So he should have 24 right now. Yes, that is correct. And this is the house that I have built for him. getting closer and closer to actually playing the sims in the first round it's it's really cool to see stanley uh, alive 
and in this town because this is actually one of the first make, uh, sims that I made in December when I started playing around with Body Shop and a new method of making sims, making unique sims. So I, I thought he turned out really cool back then and completely different from all the sims that I had in my old neighborhood. It's, it's really cool to see him right here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's get uh, to it. I think that when decorating this house, I made a mistake. I think. I thought his favorite color was brown, and it's actually black. Doesn't really matter, but uh, we can always redecorate once uh, the interior decorator gets here. I bought a few appliances, and I messed around a little bit with the garden. I sold a few things because I didn't want. Uh, well, I, I needed the money for the appliances, <laughs> and I think it would be fun if he could just start start selling on his first day so he's going to start a home business and I'm not sure that I can still have the money to buy a sign no oh, it's not in there it's in here there we go let's hang up the sign thing I want to have a few extra kitchen appliances let me see we have a fridge I wanted to put in a, f a furnace uh, I watch my call it's a stove I wanted to put in this one but it was a bit too expensive so I went with the fridge instead because I want to buy a new fridge for every sim in town so that makes sense and I have the washer and dryer which is functional and it is custom content. Other kitchen appliances, that's why I gave every sim only the basics uh, so they can buy everything else that they need in the in the shops. Can I, can I not place it in? Ah, there we go. So let's go with these two microwaves then a coffee machine and maybe a fruit maker? Let's go with this coffee machine instead. There we go. Let's start a business. And it's now open. So we just have to set everything for sale that we actually want to sell. So let's go and do that. Did I buy it for 108? <laughs> He's not gonna make a lot of profit, but at least we'll get his uh, sales skill up. I guess that's something. So let's see who comes in. And I think I want to... Uh, are you gonna make food? Well, why not? It's 10 o'clock. You can make breakfast. <laughs> um, I actually want to sell the burglary, burglar alarm too because not all of the sims have one and I think it would be cool if they're supposed to have bought it from him, all of them. So there we go, let's see who's gonna come in. There we go, there's Roland. Roland George, the farmer. And Christophe. And Daniel again. Uh, let's just go and greet them, shall we? No, we're gonna make a sale. We're gonna try and make a sale and uh, get our um, sale skill up. Mm. <laughs> work to do man. <laughs> you can't go jumping rope. <laughs> go sell a uh, microwave to Kristoff. It's gonna be great in his uh, in his little office. He <laughs> really needs one. Don't you think? <laughs> you think so too. Let's clean this up. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put it in his inventory because he doesn't have he doesn't really have a fridge to put it in. There. Oh! He, do 
doesn't have a cash register to register yet. How are we going to do this? Um, let's see, we're going to... Like the, cheapest, the cheapest thing there is, we're going to buy that. Just for now. And a cash register. There you go. Roland is still thinking about the burglary alarm. Hmm. And uh, apparently Daniel wants to buy two coffee pots. I think I want to show him the fridge. Maybe he'll he'll want to he'll want to buy that. Show eyes into Daniel. There we go. Oh, and Roland bought the burglary alarm. That's cool. Much better. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really slow. <laughs> You're gonna need some practice. Dad, the dish. We've arrived. Oh, look. Almost everyone's here. <laughs> I'm not going to greet them. We're going to stay here. Udwab, let that Yes, let's bring up Christoph. You can finish the drink later. <laughs> hmm, no, 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 do this first. Show the wash and dry as Robin. I guess he's kind of busy right now. Several clavas, the village. There we go. Now, Daniel, what did you buy? Oh, he didn't buy the fridge. Too bad. In the meantime, uh, I want to give him some bonus. Sis. Some bonuses. Um, let's do these three. Life of luxury, even though he doesn't have a job. I might do it because he's going to take the repairman job. Uh, business instinct, yeah, that's all right. Now, you know what? I'm going to give him the comfort and fun bonus. Yes. There we go. Now, do a basic sell on raw. And then show her the fridge. No, not the fridge, the, the washer, the washer and dryer. And I'm thinking if they, if they buy one, they want to get the complete set. So once we get to their household, I will, uh, I will buy the other one. Yes, if you me. Tap, tap. Oh, she thinks it's a good idea. <laughs> Move, web. There's Jessica. I should really lock this door. Maybe they'll just take the garage door into the shop. Let's have him help her find a way. Have one and I. Flat hat a shop. Zivu. How's 
Try again. Yeah. Mm, it's a butter mm. oh. Okay, well. Uh, let's show items to Jessica. Maybe she will want to have to. We will, she will want to look at the fridge. Have you seen yet? Oh, Robin just bought the washer and dryer. We should. Where did we take Jessica? Did they walk all the way around? Okay. There she is. There he is. Where did Jessica go? Did she just walk off? Or oh, she's outside. She doesn't want to buy a fridge. <laughs> go ring up Robin. Hmm. Good dinner. Because you are gonna look at the at the washer and dryer. Yes. Okay. I thought she didn't have enough money to buy anything, so she didn't want to look at his stuff because she doesn't like him. <laughs> what just happened there? Huh? Oh, they really don't like each other. And he has one bald with Robin. I think it would be really cool if he ended up with Robin, but I'm not gonna. Force anything. <laughs> Did she just take my soda? <laughs> She's making herself real comfortable in his home, isn't she? <laughs> Meanwhile, he's still struggling with the cash register. Several clavas. There we go. We didn't make a lot of money, I think, today. Let's do. Oh, too late. I wanted to do a sale. Never mind. Let's go. Uh, what's he doing? Toss a football. She doesn't want to toss a football. <laughs> We're gonna close the business. Robin, Robin just took out his trash. <laughs> That's really nice of her. <laughs> so let's close the business and then uh, bring up the last customers mm. and then start restocking. I don't think he made a lot of profit, but he did make he did sell everything in the in the store. So that's mm. that's kind of cool for his first day. First day. At the meeting group, he'll meet the rest of the town, and uh, who knows? Maybe he'll want to call someone afterwards. Okay, so he made two hundred and eighty-two. Okay. That's not bad. That's actually not bad. That's pretty good. So it's worth it. It's worth selling it. We might even set one or two of the more expensive items to. Uh, Let's set the fridge to uh, too expensive. Yes, let's do that. Okay. So we'll uh, let Stanley finish his dinner. And he uh, will probably take some rests. And uh, we're going to start playing him on the first round. Really looking forward to this one. Really am. <laughs> but for now, let's move on to the next team. Now we have arrived at the last sim from the first 
16. This is actually the 16th sim that we're moving in. And um, it's going to be the town Priest, which is why I named him Priestly. <laughs> Now, if you've watched so far, I want to really thank you for for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm I hope you'll join me when we finally start playing these Sims. But even if you don't, I think it's fun that uh, I got to share making all of this with uh, with the world out there, instead of keeping it all to my own, <laughs> as I did for 17 years with the old neighborhood. <laughs> uh, so his first name is Reginald. Uh, yes, so he's got the red hair, uh, skin number three, and I think he's got blue eyes. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, he's got the dark blue eyes. And he rolled for this haircut. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but let's keep it for now. Um, and I want to adjust his eyebrows again. Set number three. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah. He does look okay. He's definitely unique. It's just... I don't know. I'm not too fond of him. But we'll see. We'll see. He has a knowledge oh. sim. <laughs> he seems to be tired. <laughs> <laughs> he is a knowledge sim. Um, his favorite color is brown, and he is 43 years old. So he's probably the oldest sim in town right now. No, nope, there's going to be one of 44 years old, but close enough. He's almost the oldest sim in town, and he is a Virgo. So it's that one. Yes, a Virgo. And a knowledge sim. There we go. Mm. Let's make him a little bit more serious. Yes, neat. Yeah. Uh, just to give him some extremes and a little bit more active. Because uh, he does want to help everyone in town. He's, uh, he's a relatively nice sim, but he's also the priest. So he is there for everyone who needs him. <laughs> um, let's put his uh, traits in my sheet. Uh, 10 to 7. Uh. 1 and 5. There we go. Now I'm going to pick out his clothing and I'll show you when I'm done. There. So I was able to pick out everything in brown, I think. His style is going to be uh, classy, but a little bit boring, I think. <laughs> uh, so here's his suit, his underwear. I just had to give him this one. <laughs> I don't know why I just had to. It's wrong, but it's so funny. <laughs> so here's his pajamas. That's actually Max's one, I think. His swimsuit and his athletic outfit. Now, this might be a little bit too popular for him, but we'll keep it for now. And his outerwear. Uh, definitely not classic, um, but it's brown, so he has something to wear. There we go, Reginald Priestley. Our first knowledge sim, I think. Is it actually our first? Yeah, we only have two knowledge sims in town him and the librarian <laughs> yeah so he's done oh no he's not done he has turn ons and turn offs almost forgot let's see he likes red hair so at least we're gonna have some red hair babies um, cleaning skill cleaning skill and his turn offs are zombies Of course I'm going to randomize the uh, turn-ons and turn-offs of, uh, of all the children that are born. What? I use the system to give the first generation at least somewhat of a structured but random uh, set of attractions. So yeah, and his hobby is cuisine. 
and more specifically, baking. <laughs> so he might actually hold a bake sale at the church. That would be cool. That actually would be cool. Although he would be a little bit of a competition to Natasha, I think. <laughs> Not sure if we want that. Uh, let's see. He did roll for a budget of 17,000. Of course, that's not nearly enough to buy anything, and he is supposed to buy this house. That's actually a big residence, so he's going to have to take a big loan from the bank. Let me check my sheets. Yes, he's actually going to take out a loan of 25,000. With that, he should be able to buy this house and have a little bit left for spending money. So let's move on to the last part of this episode. We are almost there and uh, he's waving at the sign. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I'm going to take this away. Why is it in use? What are you doing? You're just waving at it. It's not in use. So I'm going to sell this, we don't need it anymore, it was just uh, to show that it was still for sale. And it's actually a really cool custom content, uh, something Matilda worked on. And um, it makes sure that if the sim moves, that the kitchen and the bathrooms actually stay in the house, so that's really cool. Let's see, he just rolled, he's supposed to be straight, so we're gonna use this one. And gender Prev, General Reginald, and make him straight. Let's <coughs> put the adjuster in his bedroom. Now I did kind of work on this house a little bit. Just to give him a bit more of a luxurious start. Because I think this house is going to be one of the houses that... Uh, it's really going to be a family house that a few generations are going to live in as the princely family. So now his color is his favorite color is brown. I'm probably going to uh, to redo everything later, but I do kind of like the kitchen actually. I like it. Uh, it. It has some details that are that we should change, but uh, it's cool for now. So. He's going to want to not actually buy the church, but the church is his to use, and um, so we're going to kind of give that to him. So at least when Sims go to the community center, which is the church, they're going to find Reginald there. Um, plus 8632, if I'm correct. And does he have a phone? He has no phone. Nope, he doesn't have a phone. Okay, let's give him a phone so he can uh, <laughs> he can buy the church. Real estate purchase community lot, and then I want to show you the. <coughs> the church. So we are going to uh, take care of his needs just a little bit and then visit the church. I'm not going to give him a job for now. I want to. I do want to give him a degree. Pre uni. Let's say philosophy. Oh, there's a problem. Church and Sanitary. This case. And now we do not need the back box anymore. Yes, he is not going to take a job. He actually does not have a real job right now. He's just a priest. I don't have custom content job that is uh, that resembles that. 
Yeah, but maybe we'll give him a job later. Maybe we'll find something online. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check. But for now, um, we're not going to give in to these ones because I don't want him to have a job right now. We are going to visit the church. Alright, so here we are at the church. And I did not build this. I downloaded this from uh, Sydney from Pleasant Sims. I adjusted it just a little bit. And it's supposed to be the town cemetery. These graves are purely uh, for decoration. They are not real and uh, they will cause no corruption. I found them on all sims and I think they look really cool. But there are going to be real graves down here uh, once the first sims uh, die. <laughs> Which is going to happen someday. Hopefully not too soon. And we're, uh, we will be able to hold weddings here, which is also kind of cool, I think. I want to close the church for now. Let's see. Now, we'll, we'll leave it open. We're just going to go home in a little bit. And, uh Whenever we do hold a wedding, this is how it was decorated. I didn't really change it. I liked it, so I kept it exactly the same. Uh, so we have this uh, musical uh, instrument, so we can have music and we can have cake and a little dinner right behind here and a, and a bar with a few drinks. So I think that's really cool for weddings. Melissa seems to really like Kristoff. I think it is time to go home. I just wanted to show you the church. I'm not sure if he's really gonna spend that much time here. So I'm gonna have to figure out how he is going to spend his days. Uh, he could spend his days with a little bit of baking, but I don't think he wants to do that at the church. So he's going to do that at home. And then uh, maybe visit here take care of the garden apparently so we could maybe expand the garden a little bit now this is just room for extra extra graves it's not a garden okay so I'm not sure how we're gonna spend his days <laughs> we'll figure it out we'll figure it out and uh, maybe he just wants to uh, start a family he's a knowledge gym? probably not and he is too young to uh, to have his second uh, aspiration yet so who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> For now we're going to send him home and call it a day. Because that was, this was actually the end of the second episode where we moved in 8 extra sims, 8 male sims. So we now have 16. And uh, the next thing that you're going to see is the meet and greet where all of the 24 sims are going to meet each other. That means that you have not seen four extra females and four extra males yet which I am going to move in after Reginald has sent everyone home <laughs> time to go people so yeah Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see how the story is going to start or how it's going to continue. I would love to have you join me on this, uh, on this journey. And uh, I'm going to play it anyway because I can't wait and I just really want to do this. But it would be, uh, it would be nice to have you join me. So maybe I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.